Hello, welcome back to my channel. As you all know, when you connect your solar panels to your hybrid inverters, because of the way it charges your batteries, it requires high voltage from your solar panels to charge your battery. When you connect a multimeter from the earth terminal of your inverter to the ground, you can get up to about 150 volts. That's some excess voltage leakage current and all that from the solar panels to the earth terminal of the inverter because of the way it works it requires high voltage to charge your batteries so there's a build up of electrostatic charges high voltage to remove those voltage that build up that pressure on the inverter you have to connect a ground wire from either your inverter's earth terminal to the ground or you connect it directly from the panels to the ground what some other persons would say, earthing of the panels. In my previous video, I discussed about how you can connect the earth wire to the earth terminal of your surge protecting device. In this video, I want to demonstrate how you can connect it directly from the panels to the ground to relieve that pressure, that electrostatic buildup of charges from the inverter to the ground. So let's go. Before you start, make sure you turn off the breaker, the DC breaker of your inverter, because if you go Climb the roof like that, I'm going to receive some electric shock. So I've already switched it off. Then I'll go to the back to dig the ground some bits and put it on inside and connect the wires to the panels. Follow me. Okay, so I'm going to choose this position. Make sure the spots you choose. It's not where you can get those pump plumbing pipes so you not don't destroy them. I'm not going to dig that much. I'm not using any salt. So just dig it a bit. Then you force the metal rod, is an earth rod, force it inside. Just. want to dig to get to the point where we have some earth as on the concrete zone and that one to be too wide Of course, there's also, I think this is etched. That's the general etching of the house. What I'm going to do with that, I'm going to connect the, this time I'll connect the earth terminal of the such protective device to the etching of the house. Because I think they, they hardly have grid electricity supply from in this area. So there's not going to be an interference of any sort. Already, most of the electric charges are coming directly from the panels to the ground. So we have few left on the source protecting device terminal, earth terminal. I will connect that one to the end of the house to complete the earth setup. For this, let's do it directly from the panels. Have a chisel. We've been able to dig to where the earth is. All you have to do is just to keep hitting the earth rod down. It's as simple as what you can see. Just hit it down until you get to the desired spot you want it to be. I personally don't want it to go down fully. I want some parts of it to also be visible so that I can cover with an adaptable boss later or in case I want to do maintenance, it would be easier for me to do maintenance. So you can see, um, all I have to do right now is to go for my wires, go get the wires and tie on the rod tight around and to ensure that the wire is tight. And here I have my 2.5 mm cable. You can as well use 6 mm, 10 mm. But this is a 2.5 mm cable, it's going to do the job for me. 
just strip it a bit then tie it around the rod it should be very tight the connection should be tight when you do etching you have to ensure that whatever you are connecting whether on the earth rod or on the other side it's very tight if it's loose then there's going to be a lot of resistance on that spot and the goal is to make sure we get the least resistant parts to allow current to flow through easily as you can see we are making sure that it is very tight and there's no loose connection at all so when you do that you can take the wire along the wall you can clip it along the wall or you can also use a trunk pipe or a conduit pipe to make the work neat so um, i have some clips here with me uh, let's just try to see if we can clip it on the wall like this you see well i think clipping works best if the wire is a bit thicker because it's going to appear neater when the wire is thick but right now i'm just trying to see what i can do but i don't i don't think i can do much uh, maybe i'll have to just go get a trunk pipe or a conduit pipe later on i don't know let's see let's see whether we can get something good out of this clipping uh, i don't think it's looking good at the moment maybe i just have to get a trunk pipe i didn't plan for that initially i just wanted to do my editing and leave but then i need to do it well whatever is worth doing is worth doing well you know <laughs> so that's it so i'll just go and get some trunk pipe all right i'll come back so um these the results just look for a way to take the wire down to the earth earth rod twist it around the earth rod and ensure that it is tightly connected to the earth rod then when that is done then look for something like either a trunking pipe like this or a conduit pipe to place the wires inside then put it on the wall so that the wires will not be visible because the protective system is not supposed to be visible and to be exposed to harsh weather conditions so right now i'm going to take this one this one's already on the roof so i'm going to go to the roof right now and screw it to the profile and there are different ways you can do it you can either screw it to the profile or you connect it to the panel the frame of the panel or you can even put on the roof but i'm going to screw it to the profile because everything is connected together both the roof the profile and the panel frame they're all connected together because they are all conductors metals aluminium metals and so on and so forth so when you connect to the panel one panel connects to the profile and it links the other panel and links all the panels and as well as the roof when you connect this earth wire to the panel or to the profile everything has been edited already you don't need to start connecting one after the other that is waste of materials so right now i'm going to go up to the, on the roof and show you how i'll use my screw machine to screw the wire on the profile so let's see follow me just do something like this now we are going with the screw just a small screw like this make sure you go with the washer go with the washer then all you need to do is to peel off a huge part of the wire then take this one down a bit when you take it down a bit something like this remember there's a washer here so you can twist the wire under first after twisting the wire then you screw it completely so that the washer and the screw hits the wire tightly to the profile so i've already done that i'm just trying to demonstrate it to you let me even use the profile for instance this is a profile and this is the wire this is the wire what you do is this peel the wire in this case these are eight wire look for a washer or a small knot that can serve as a washer something like this then 
I fell for school this one inside a bit. Now when you school. Okay, before you school, you must connect the washer to it. Sorry. Here's the washer. Connect the washer. Then screw it a bit inside. Then use your earth wire. Twist it around it. Twist it around. Like this. Twist it around. Then really completely. You can see how tight it is. Now, when you connect etin, when you connect etin wires, there's one thing you need to pay attention to. The, the connections must be very tight. If it's not tight, then it's not properly done. Whether on the ground side or on the roof side or on any of the sides, connection has to be very tight. That's one way to maintain integrity of your etin. So let's go and show. I will show what I've done. Regardless. Okay. Use the wire. Now, just what I did, I uh, tensioned the wire a bit. Then I peed one part, screw it to the profile. And I peed the last part, screw it to the profile on two sides. In case one fails, the other one will not fail. So it's as firm as ever. You can see. Very firm. Very firm. Now, in this way, when you switch on the breaker for your solar hybrid inverter, when it's charging and it's building up electrostatic charges, some of them is going, are going to pass through this wire to the ground. Instead of them to lock around your inverter or to lock around your SPD and even move over to some of your electronics, it will just go straight down to the earth. Now, we try to build systems, solar systems that is uh, safe for home use. So it's not wise and it's not nice when you have a solar system in your house and you keep getting electrocuted because of improper eating. You have to do all the etings as possible. Eat your panels, eat your inverter, eat the surge protecting device. Connect this SPD to the etting of the house if you have done separate etting for these solar panels to the ground directly. Then that other such protecting device you can connect to the etting of the house if it's still functional. In this case, the, this place, there's no... They hardly bring light here in this place. I think once in a blue moon. So there's no sort of interference. So I've already connected the one of the SPD to the etting of the house. Then this one directly to the ground. Then the inverter also to the SPD looped together. So I think that's all you need to know. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I want to appreciate you for staying around to this time. Um, please make sure you like my video and also subscribe. Subscribe if you are new here so that you don't miss any of my other videos. And please also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to see a video when I, when I upload. So in my next round of videos, I'm going to, I'm going to bring you more installation updates more protection updates, videos on what you can do to protect your systems, videos on how to connect inverters, solar panels, batteries, and so on and so forth. If you have questions, make sure you put them in the comment section. I'll be there to answer your questions and also if you have suggestions, recommendations and also just let me know. Just engage in me in the comment section. I'll be there waiting for you. Thank you very much and uh, see you again. Have a nice time. Peace.